The Geico Mark Roth Plastic Ball Championship is brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% on car insurance. By Touch of Gray, gets rid of some gray, never all. By Golden Corral's Great American Seafood Tour, crab cakes, coconut shrimp, and tilapia, all for around 10 bucks. And by One A Day, men's 50 plus advantage, the multivitamin with more of what matters. The legendary Mark Roth with a great seat to watch what should be a wonderful title match. The 2010 Geico Mark Roth Plastic Ball Championship title match rolls on again. Mark's wife, Denise, with the sign again. We, we get it. Your mom's having a birthday. Happy birthday to her. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson, coming your way live here from West Babylon, New York. Does she not understand that she's cutting into Mark's FaceTime every time she does that? Somebody's going to have to send her a huh? note. So here's Brian Zysik, former pro, current amateur, lives 15 minutes away from this venue. His 10th strike of the day, he opened his semi with a five-bagger, starts with a strike there. Now, your number one seat. Making his third TV appearance this season, he won his first PBA Tour title here last season on his way to becoming the 08-09 PBA Rookie of the Year. A two-time World Bowler of the Year from Orange, New South Wales, Australia. Please welcome Jason Belmonte. Great fan support here in Long Island for Jason. Again, he won here in this venue last year. It was the Bowling Foundation Long Island Classic. He beat his buddies Michael Fagan and Bill O'Neill for the title. Opening jack for Belmo, and here is Jason on what rolling a plastic ball means to him this week. Typically, the, the traditional shark pattern is obviously our longest pattern and also has the most oil in the lane. So you're going to want to use your most aggressive balls most of the time. Storm's latest and basically it's brand new high technology ball is the Invasion. I use that most of the time, especially earlier in the blocks. Um, you know, it just gives you a ball that reads heavy oil. Um, you know, the cover and the core obviously are the, the latest technology that we have on the market. and. Um, it basically, if you need a ball that turns, which you do on the shark, you, know, you normally go to the invasion. Back to back opening jacks for Belmo. Last year at this event, excuse me, at the center during the Long Island tournament, it wasn't a plastic ball tournament, but Jason Belmonte used a plastic ball exclusively on the right lane. I think the thing that makes him so scary out here to the, all the other players is yeah, he's got a really high rev rate, and yeah, he can hook it a lot, but he can also throw it really straight. Zysig. An opening pair. Time now for the bear breakdown and the Zysig headshot. We need to maybe do a little work on that. He caught us off guard by making the show as an amateur. And here he is trying to make his first victory on the PBA Tour. The amateur taking on Jason Belmonte. Now watch Zysig's approach. Very interesting. He calls it very awkward. Since a kid, he's bowled this way. Left hand doesn't use it for balance. It'll go right to his knee. Another strike. It worked. It looks odd, but it works. He was telling me a story about Patrick Allen. These guys, good buddies from Long Island, growing up, and and PA would go to him. Yo, Hoss, Hoss, how, how do you do that? And Patrick would try and. <laughs> bull by putting his right hand on his knee and he almost fell over. He said, I, I don't know how you do it and for, for Brian it just it works. Plain and simple. Hey, that's why this is such a great sport. I mean different styles, you know, lots of different ways of getting it done. You're looking at the future right here of bowling. This two-handed style is just, to me, is just crazy. It's amazing. Leaves the tent. Do you really believe Ooh, it's the future? A bowling? Well, I, I think that you're going to start seeing it more and more where players aren't going to use their thumb, whether it's a two-handed style or young Johnny Petraglia Jr. not using his thumb like Mike Miller, Mike Miller used to do uh, back in the 90s. Um, it, it's, you know, you, you look at Mark Roth, he's, he's sitting just behind Jason Belmonte, and if you remember back in the day, Mark Roth's thumb looked like somebody took a hammer to it after every block. Mark Roth went through more new skin and trying to patch that bloody deformed thumb up. Well, now what the players are doing, 
are, a lot of the players are taking their thumb out of the ball and, and taking it out of the equation. We even saw Walter A. Williams Jr. in warm-ups throwing it with two hands. I, I just think you're going to start seeing more and more players doing it. So what you're telling me, not a lot of hand models on the PBA Tour. Well played, Mr. Stone. Del Monte in the fourth off of a spare in the third. Oh, he heaves this one. And an explosion around the 10 pin again. Yeah, good friends. All right, so that's going to be the issue. I think both players are going to have zero trouble hitting the pocket. We've seen that all day long with huge scores. But because of the velocity of Jason Belmonte and that rev rate, he's left back to back ring and tens after starting with two strikes. That's what makes winning out here so tough in a one game match. So a spare for Belmonte and Belmo with a pair of spares. And Brian, you see those back-to-back -back spares from your opponent. What does that do for you entering the fourth? It makes me happy I wasn't bowling them. Uh, well, that's right. I did bowl them last night and he shot 299 at me. So at least this average is going down against me. <laughs> is he great or what? He's, I told you. He has, a, he has a great personality. Just a, He's just an awesome guy, man. And... and uh, it's just really great to see him doing this. And here he is, looking to start with four in a row in our title match. <laughs> Opening Hambone in the title match. Hambone. Brian Zizig is just bowling phenomenally today. Now take a look at the last three shots on the left lane in his last match against Walter Ray Williams Jr. Blows the rack on that last shot. This one here, just a little bit inside, it holds pocket. And this last shot, the biggest shot of his career, when he tripped the 2-8, just a little bit wide. So what's Brian Zizek has done is he's created a little bit of room on the lane with that plastic ball. Mm. 10 yeah. pin shy of dropping the yeah, nickel. Yeah, yeah. We we're talking all afternoon, what a great guy Brian is. As first of all, we'd like to thank Karen Whittall, the Geico supervisor, for being here and Geico sponsorship of this Mark Roth Plastic Ball Championship. And we're talking about Zizek. This kind of sums up what kind of guy he is. I don't think I've told you this story. Called him this morning. And while I'm hold, and they say, hey, you know, please enjoy the music while this call goes through, what comes on? If you like pina coladas. <laughs> the escape song, the pina colada song from, uh, what was it, Rupert Murdoch, is what he paid to put on his cell phone. He's like, I, I asked him about it. He's like, yep, that's Rupert Holmes. Rupert Holmes, not Murdoch. Murdoch, Murdoch owns the label, I think, that the escape song is on. So the pina colada song, Brian Zysak's favorite song. It says a lot there, doesn't it? Belmonte back on the strike train. I can't believe you're keeping things from me. I know. Love the pina colada song. Mike Saragano there in the burgundy shirt. General manager here at AMF Babylon Lanes, sitting next to Tom Clark, PBA. Our thanks to both of those gentlemen and all they do. Another look at Mark Roth and his wife as they take in this title match. Johnny Petraglia to the left of Mark Roth. What do you think Mark Roth's saying to himself when he watches this two-handed style of Jason Belmonte with that plastic ball? Because, you know, quite honestly, back in the day when Mark, when Mark Roth dominated the tour with plastic, it was kind of like what Jason Belmonte is doing now. You know, the rev rate comparison, Mark Roth, the first prolific cranker to come out on tour and dominate. Close, close. Belmo. Shot. Cranks that rack. That's a huge drop and give me 10.